This video is brought to you by Porsche Classic, genuine parts, partners, and factory restoration. To learn more, visit PorscheUSA.com slash classic. Welcome back to PCA's Garage. We have another quick DIY for you. This one has to do with the cowl cover here. Cars that sit outside a lot or just have age, the plastic tends to go gray and it really is a distraction to an otherwise very clean car. Some people remove them and paint them. Some people dress it with some sort of solution to bring back the darkness, but usually it's a temporary solution. So what I recommend, because it's fairly inexpensive, you can buy this whole plastic piece for I believe less than $100 and it's pretty easy to switch out and we're gonna show you how to do that. In order to swap out this piece here, we're gonna to have to move some, remove some of this trim here with a, a Torx bit, remove your battery cover. We're gonna move some caps that are covering some nuts or bolts that are holding this cow piece down. We're gonna to have to remove the windshield wiper and we're going to have to swap over the windshield washer fluid nozzles. Not that hard to do, so here we go. Okay, so to remove the windshield wipers, it's actually pretty easy. You're going to just pop off this little cover. You can just pry it off with your fingernail. Um, what I've done also is I've just placed blue tape so that I can uh, have a place, a reference point when I put the windshield wipers back on later. So what you're going to do is get a 13 millimeter socket. I'm gonna leave this trim piece right there, just in case. I'm just gonna put a little towel there in case I slip. I don't wanna scratch the paint. They're not on very tight. So I'll move the nut there. And then to remove it, they're on, they're on there with a press fit. So you're just gonna wiggle it out a bit. You just kind of wiggle it and then they'll come right off. Again, they're just press fit. It's sort of a cone seating surface that as you tighten it down, it tightens the uh, wiper in place. But other than that, it comes right off. Now for this side, you're gonna have to get to this nut with the hood open and then carefully pull the wiper off. Now that you have the windshield wipers removed, you're going to look for the mounting points of uh, what's keeping this cowl piece on the car. Uh, you'll pop these little covers on each end of the cowl cover. There's a nut in there to undo. And then in the center here, you have a Torx sc screw holding things together. Simply remove that. Be careful to hold on to it. Otherwise, you're gonna be spending the next half an hour looking for it as it drops down. There it is right there. Now you have some hoses for the windshield washer fluid. You have some connectors here that are attached to the cowl piece that you'll want to carefully pop off as well. On either side of the windshield cowl cover, you'll find a nine millimeter plastic nut in there that holds everything in place so that easily comes off. Another screw you want to make sure you remove is this one right here. Okay, so we removed the Torx screw on this side of the cover and it is actually adjacent to the negative of um, the battery. This one here is closer to the positive side. Usually I'd like to have some sort of cap or covering for it, 
just in case you accidentally touch the um, the screwdriver that you're using to this, that could be dangerous. So either cover it or disconnect your uh, negative battery terminal so that you don't accidentally create a spark when removing this last bolt here. As you prepare to pull the cowl cover off, you also want to disconnect these electrical connectors. You just pinch the ends and then pull them out that way. And then these will also slide off so that you can transfer them to the new piece. So like any other project on an older car, simply unplugging this connector seems like a pretty simple task, but you have to be careful. This plastic might be brittle and you never want to tug by the wires. What you want to do is pinch them really well. And what I did was I just used uh, the small flat bladed screwdriver, just kind of wiggle it out evenly and it will come out. Um, again, don't pull on the wires because you don't want to accidentally disconnect them from the plug. And then this one here will simply slide out that way. You can see it has a track that it goes onto. And then we'll do the same on this side and then we'll take the cow cover off. So in order to remove this plug from this track here, you can see how it has these stops. So on this plug, if you, on the driver's side, if you lift up, it'll disengage this little point right here and you'll slide off. But keep in mind when you work on the plug on this side, it's gonna be the opposite. This side, we lift it up. This side, we're gonna actually push down. And there you go, nice and easy. We're now ready to remove the cowl piece. I've added a little piece of painter's tape just to make sure I don't scratch the fender. It is plastic and you're probably fine, but me being me, be on the safe side. We'll just lift it up and leave it right there. So to remove the remainder, um, you're gonna have to pop off these hoses and it's a simple twist to the right. And your water hose is off. And then now we can pull this out. There you have it. What we'll need to do next is to transfer the windshield washer nozzles from this piece to the new piece. Our next step is to transfer the nozzles for the windshield washer fluid. This is a good point where you can disconnect the line and uh, simply you're gonna pinch, you can see that right there, pinch that and pull everything out from this side. But you're gonna first have to disconnect from here. Okay, now that's disconnected, simply press that piece, and then you'll see it. Everything pull forward here. Everything slides through and simply transfer this to your new piece. So I've removed the T from this side of the hose and I'm gonna do the same thing. Pinch, pull it out. There you have it. Now let's put this on the new one. There you go, we've successfully transferred the washer nozzles to the new piece. So you wanna be sure to save this particular rubber trim piece from the old one. 
and transfer it to your new one. We've transferred the rubber trim piece to the new cow. Make sure you push, you'll see how it kind of falls into a channel and almost, it doesn't clip in place, but it falls into place. And you'll see that it sits nice and flush. And once it gets to the end, it kind of follows a different direction, but it still has a track which it falls into. So just be careful with that. Ready? Now that the new cowl cover is on, you want to make sure you connect all of the hoses and electrical connections. Okay, now that the cowl is in, we're simply reversing the procedure, put all the bolts, all the connectors back in place, put the wipers back on, and you're done. We've connected everything underneath in place. We've connected the tubes, we've connected the electrical connections, secured down the cowl cover. We put our windshield wipers back on, put the 13 millimeter nut back on, once you've positioned everything in place, make sure everything is lined up, tighten down that 13 millimeter uh, nut, um, a good, uh, follow the torque spec. We'll add the torque spec to the video. Torque it down to make sure that's nice and tight. And of course, give it a test. Hop in the car, hit the windshield washer fluid, and make sure everything wipes well, and then double check below to see if there's any leaks. There you have it, just like nail.